Greetings to you all, beloved Bride of the Living God. We are indeed very much thankful for such a wonderful privilege to be gathered and be founded around the Word of the Lord. Onsoli amal bechuru dir baris and your unfailbare naam van ons Heere en ons Koning. Jesus Christus, wat a wonderlijke voorig is dit vir ons vir ochend om weer eens te kan vergade rondom die woord van die Heere. Kom ons bid saam, let us pray together before we start off with our devotion this morning. We want to make sure that we remember you in prayer. Ons wil bid dierbaar is voordat ons sal voortgaan met ons ochend oordenking en ons wil seker maak dat ons u ontdou in ons gebede so ek vraag u vir ochend waar u ook al is steek u hand op le u hand op iemand wherever you are this morning raise up your hand and if you are close to a neighbor or to a friend or to a family member Put your hand upon that person and believe by faith that whatever we ask from the Lord, if we believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Kom ons bid saam, dier baris Heere, onse koning, onse redder, onse verlosser, onse geneeser, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Bright morning star, the lily of the valley, the sweet rose of Sharon, we are gathering this morning together, Lord, around the globe, around thy word. Father, what a privilege it is for us. I want to pray, Lord, especially for all our elderly people father I Lord I don't know why I feel so burdened this morning to pray for them for all our senior senior citizens oh God around the globe father I want to pray for God's grace and strength upon their lives here I will bid for God's genade en Godse reikse sieninge en kracht oor hulle lichaam Heere, may you bless them O God as they have reached Lord a period and a time in their lives Lord Jesus where most or some of them cannot do much on their own but they need the help of other people Father I pray that you strengthen them this morning. May the Holy Ghost rest upon them today, grant to them good health and good strength, Almighty God. May you bless them, O God, with a double portion of thy presence. Bless our senior, our senior citizens this morning. Sien in ons groot mense, Heere. Soos die ouwe mense sal sê, Heere, ons groot mense, sien in hulle van ochend asjeblief, Heere. Sien die woord, sien die breid, sien die elke gelovige, bless your bride, bless every believer, every family, in the precious name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Now, beloved brothers and sisters, we want to, we don't want to take much of your time this morning. I would just love, I just would love to, you know, take a few verses out of the word and, and look into the word of the Lord. And like I always say that this platform that God has given to us, it is just to encourage you. So a platform, dear Baris, is by and 
wat die Heere vir ons gegeet om u te bemoedig. Ek vanochtend ken nie die persoonlijke conditie nie. Ek ken nie die persoonlijke strijde, probleme en verwachtinge u vanochtend het nie. Maar wat ek volgend wil sê is dat ze God wat lewe. I might not know your personal needs and desires this morning or your battles or your challenges that you've been facing but what I can say this morning that there is a God that's alive He is a working He's a miracle a miracle working God I want us to read through the Bible in the book of 2 Kings one of our most most uh, familiar scriptures we have ministered many times many ministers has opened up the scripture and I just felt so led to to speak about this Shunammite revival that will be our title this week the Shunammite revival. Let's read the book of 2 Kings chapter 4. Let's read from verse 8. I want us to take it slow. I want us to really get a hold of all of it. Don't misunderstand or don't, you know, uh, we, don't, we are not here trying to figure out something. We're here to to just follow the leading of the Holy Ghost and how God is dealing with every individual this morning and for the rest of the week. The Bible reads as follow, And it fell on a day that Elijah passed to Shunem, where was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. The word constrained means that she basically forced him. She stopped him. Oh my, isn't it wonderful? There's something that I would love to underline, brothers and sisters. In the Shunammite, in that village, there was more than just one woman that lived in that village there was more than just one family that lived in that village but the most beautiful part of this scripture is that this woman she constrained him she invited him she forced him she would notice that this man is a holy man. Dear mag die Heer ons help hierdie week om te kan onderskui. Ek praat vandag en ek praat hierdie week oor hierdie synamitiese herleving en ek bid dat die Heer elke familie hierdie week a synamitiese herleving sal gee. I pray that God will give every family a Shunammite revival. She constrained him. She, she, she let him stop for a moment. Oh my. And, 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 and she made, probably she made a good, good sandwich. Because she could notice there was something different. And that is where we would love to draw your attention before we pray. She would notice that this man is different. Sy het opgelet dierbaars dat hierdie man wat hier verby hierdie sunamitiese vallei die wingerde voorbij stap, dat daar was iets besonders 
rondom hierdie persoon. She could notice that there was something special about this man. And inside of her heart, a desire grew. I don't know how many weeks and how many days and how many months God's prophet passed at home. But somehow, whenever she would see him passing that route, something would speak with inside of her. There was something within her that could discern that this man was different from the other man. Dear Baris, there must be a born natural born in her geborlet wat vir haar kon gesê dat hierdie man is anders as die ander mans. Remember brothers and sisters, we will go into that as our days go. But very important this morning, I want you to notice that this woman, the Bible called her the great woman of the Shunammite village. It's not easy for a woman today to tell her husband can we allow this man this stranger in our home it's not easy today for a sister to tell her husband or a woman to tell her husband today that i perceive that that's a holy man that we should consider listen closely listen closely now that we should even consider my husband to build a place where this holy man could live nou wil ek vir jou volgen vra watter tipe lewe het die leesa geleef voor daar die mense in die vallei dat hierdie vrou kon bewus raak, dat hierdie vrou kon sien, dat hierdie man was anders as die ander mense. What kind of life? What kind of life did he live so that this woman could realize or discern that, or she could pick up his spirit? Somehow she would probably see him passing the home and the marketplaces and the way who he would talk to the people, the way he, how he should walk and my something would in this woman telling her that this is a godly man. Dierbaar is wat het dieper lewe, moet ek en u lewe dierbaar is. Om die synamitische herleving te ken ervaar, what kind of life should we live that we could have that synamite revival? This woman, chosen by God amongst many, Oh my, die baar is een vrou gekies dier God tussen baie. Jy is vanmorgen een breid uitverkies dier God tussen baie. You are the bride of God, a special lady, a special woman elected among many. May God help us this morning to realize that our position, what God has been doing for us and what God has done. And by the grace of God this morning, we can speak out loud and we can cry out loud and say, Lord, have mercy on our souls this morning so that we can live such a life whereby that other people in our villages in our towns that they would realize that we are different from other people 
Dierbares, ek gaan afsluit, maar ek wil vir jy vanmorgen sê, dierbares, jy is op adver toe, jy is by die huis, jy is vanmorgen miskien syk, en jy voel miskien vanmorgen nie so lekker nie, maar ek wil jy vanmorgen sê, waar jy is, dierbares, lewe, die lewe, prijs die naam van die Heere, halleluja, so dat jou lewe, andere kan aantrek, en nie wegstoot nie, lewe, live that kind of life, that does not push people away from you, but live that kind of life, that draws people to you, so that your life, can be a blessing, to others, I am so excited, to see how this drama unfolds, in the next few days and how this woman the revival she had oh my just because she could see something would speak in the inside say that is a godly man may God help us this morning father please help us to live such a life so that others can see that we are different of the world. Ons is anders daar die wereld. Bless your bride this morning. They go to work, some are going to school, some writing exams. Father, may the blessings of the Lord be upon all of them today. In Jesus' name, Amen.
touched the hem of his garment, and I can no more see his face, and my heart is overflowing with the fullness of his joy. I can say without a doubt that I've been. See.